What's up guys, this is 410 Auto Tech. Welcome back to my channel. You can see, I stopped buying from Snap-on, I stopped buying from Cornwall, I stopped buying from Atco. I paid off all my accounts, off of the truck accounts, don't owe my dime. I said, I'm not buying any tools from you no longer. Just kidding. This is just a video I wanted to bring some content uh, content to you guys off of uh, pretty much I know each individual person is different they pay between 20 bucks to 50 bucks to 100 bucks on week, week to week uh, tool purchases I don't know any of those guys off of their truck accounts so I wanted to uh, see put that money and see what I could buy off of Amazon and see if I can match up any tools from Amazon that are similar to two tool truck uh, tools as well. Uh, I still fully support small businesses. Like I said, they always help me out and I always try to help them out as well. I try to bring them business as much as they help me out on uh, making the right decisions right, right decisions and right purchases off the tool truck. Today's, Like I said, today's video is me buying some stuff off of Amazon. I hope you guys like it. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so first up on my list is this rechargeable Cobb work light. Uh, this produces 700 lumens. It is a replica to, I believe, it's called the Astro Light. Um, same exact body, pretty much same exact body, magnetic base. You have this piece right here where you can twist it and loosen it to whatever angle you want it at and you retighten it. Um, you have your USB uh, charger right here. You have this hook right here if you want to hook it on something. I actually have, I bought two of them. So I actually have the other one on top here hanging on and hanging straight down towards me. Nice clear light as you can see. Nice and very nice and bright. Uh, I've been enjoying it. I put away that, uh, that I had a, bought a Harbor Freight light. And that one was awesome too just because it flexes but the battery just, just, just went away on me. So I, I wanted to try this out. Um, so I like it so much that I bought two of them. So definitely a good buy for $15.99. Can't go wrong with the price. I actually stepped on it. I don't know if you can see that right here. And it fell and uh, landed on some like uh, dum dum that I had laying around. So it is durable. I stepped on it. Took that test already. Uh, dropped it. Still chart, so nice and bright, and right out of the box, it came pretty much like I want to. I want to say 90% fully charged already, and really awesome light, guys. So check it out. I'll be dropping all the links down below uh, to the, my Amazon affiliate account. So if you guys want to check them out, go purchase yourself. Definitely love it. So let's go to the next round. Next item on my list right now is this uh, M-O-D-A-O -O light. I thought it was a pretty cool light at first. Um, it has about 600 lumens. The other light had about 700 lumens. Uh, this has a double feature. To be honest, when I was looking at it on Amazon, I thought I was getting two lights, but that's what you get for buying off offline instead of buying it on the tool truck. Tool trucks, you have the items in your hands, and online, you can only look at it at a picture. I just fully didn't read the uh, description, but this light is pretty cool. It's not the best light. It's by far I'm not fully recommend buying this light. Uh, it's my money. I paid $17.99 for it, uh, but it has a nice little light. A couple features on it. Red, and then it's strobe light red. And then this is pretty bright as well. I've used it on a, uh, I was on a water pump on a cruise, and it worked out okay. It wasn't the best. I still had my uh, Milwaukee overhead light as well. It's two features on it, and then you have a strobe light, so if you have epilepsy, be careful. So up next, um, as you can, I guess, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I do all kinds of work. I do interior work and all that stuff, and I've been, I've been borrowing a buddy's tool, and I've used it more than three times. He's really cool about it, but I got to the point where, you know what? Uh, I needed to buy my own, so I'll, I bought this tool, tool by AES uh, Industries hog ring uh, ring pliers. As you can see, they are made in Taiwan. Uh, AES Industries uh, heavy duty hog ring pliers. Uh, here is a QR scanner, and the same thing on the front. 
Uh, for the price of both of these, I paid $24.99 off of Amazon. Uh, they have a nice feel to it. Uh, I get hog, hog ring uh, at, at work for free, so I don't have to. I didn't have to purchase that. Um, so they got the little nice plastic, uh, kind of comfort grip. Uh, you're not. They're not going to be constantly in your hand, so I wouldn't worry about that portion too bad. Uh, they have a nice little spring action right here as well. So you got the straight ones right here, and then you got the ones at uh, an angle. So. I believe the one uh, my buddy that I had borrowed his had bought his off of Matco and somewhere on here I believe I believe correct me if I'm wrong but I did it did say that it was from Taiwan so I'll try to see if I can uh, find out what Matco charges and then compare it to $24.99 from AES Industries off of Amazon kind of excited to use it to uh, put my money worth get my money back from using these tools so next up on the list is uh, from a company called Aries. I actually uh, had a video. I bought their uh, magnetic uh, tool saver, mechanics tool saver for my, all my quarter inch stuff and it came out with all the you know measurements on what size sockets that they fall into. I accidentally bought this by my sick again. Like I said, I was looking at it and I was buying, looking for a decent price mid-range chrome sockets and I ended up buying Instead of metric, I end up buying a uh, SAE standard, and but for ten dollars and ninety nine cents, it, it, I I can't I can't complain. I needed them regardless in metric. I mean, in, uh, regardless, I needed them in standard. Uh, so next on my list is ordering a uh, metric from uh, try to find the same brand if not Gear Wrench. So the good thing about these, they go from a quarter wrench all the way up to believe seven eaves. Yep. Seven seven eaves. You get on Matco, Snap on, or Cornwall, it'll probably be five times the price for these chrome uh, semi deeps. Uh, so I don't use I don't use standard often so I, it's not like I'm gonna be wearing and tearing them. These are just every once in a while and I needed I wanted them because I know I eventually I will need them. So for ten ninety nine, great pickup regardless if I screwed up. So I screwed up Pay ten ninety nine. I'm gonna live with it. And all right. So up next, I bought this uh, Dremel electric engraver uh, right off of Amazon for seventeen ninety nine. A uh, couple days later, I walked on the Cornwall truck and uh, another tech bought it. He paid about forty some dollars. Uh, so I definitely got a deal, I believe, off of this buying it through Amazon and. I'll probably make a video how to pimp your tools out there. So I know some guys out there, you guys will like to engrave your tools and learn how to engrave your tools. The good thing about this, it comes with a uh, a trace pad, so you can just pop it on your tool and you engrave in it. It has all your letters and I believe some numbers in there as well. And just so you can have something, if you guys got a couple guys in the shop that have the same exact tools, and if you're just that guy that wants to have a little security, I'll probably be doing it on some of my tools. Not all of them, just a very few of them. And I'll be adding, uh, trump, pimping, pimping them out, adding some color, some pizzazz to it as well. And I bought these for about $9 each individual. So, uh, some nice, colorful, light, colorful two shades of green to play around with and uh, a red so I'll be trying those out as well so like I said this is not knocking any of the tool trucks that you know I just wanted to see what I could purchase other than trying to just uh, keep purchasing from them I do support small businesses uh, nothing against those guys I know they have to make a living and they have to uh, whatever they purchase is purchase that item for you have to make some profit on them so not knocking any of those guys down in case i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll drop all the links for all the tools uh, i have an amazon affiliates account so all the links if you click on one it'll it'll help me out as well and if you like any of the products then you can purchase them through my links and it will definitely help me out as well so i hope you guys liked the video it was a nice quick short video on uh my tool purchases instead of buying them from the tool truck so like I said drop a like comment subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification bell to stay tuned to all my videos that I bring out to you guys um, so it was a nice little haul uh, 
I got a couple more items that I've been I had bought as well, so that'll probably be for the next video. I've been using them as well to test them out. Till next time, this is gonna be 410 Auto Tech out.